Last week I was having a really, really, really bad day when my friend was like, you know what we should do? We should shut your laptop, stop worrying about this, get in the car and go to Primark. And that is what we did. Um, I've also been popped into the Primark in Northampton on Sunday. So this is the Northampton one and these three are the new Rushton Lakes one. Um, uh, so I thought I would do a haul since I have four, that's not four, that's four, four bags of Primark stuff. Um, I will say not a lot of it is fashion. I don't love the fashion in Primark at the moment. I don't love fashion in general at the moment. I'm not, I mean, a lot of people look nice in it, in the like the 90s vibe, but I just don't suit it. My figure doesn't suit it. I'm a very 1950s figure. I need like, like this sort of clothing, not like square crop tops with like weird, oh, makes your tits that weird, no. No, thank you. Uh, but I did find lots of little gems. So rather than going on and on, I will just get straight to it. There's no order at all. Number one, these bejeweled headphones I bought for Darcy Doodles in this stylish jewel design. When I looked at this earlier, I honestly thought it said stylish Jewish design. I was like, can they say that? Is that like picking out a particular, like, is that okay? I was like, it says jewel, it says jewel. Um, so obviously it's just plasticky crystals, but for seven pounds, I'm gonna put that in her Christmas um, box that I've hidden away, and she can enjoy those on Christmas morning. Oh, <laughs> I bought a really fluffy throw, which is downstairs, so it's no point showing you that, but I bought a large purple throw, and it is amazing. Again, for Darcy's Christmas stocking, um, Christmas stocking, I bought these. They're little rings, and they have a little bit of lip balm or lip gloss in, can't imagine that that shows up very well at all but she is six and that kind of stuff really floats her boat for me a set of pearls a shit ton of pearls nine pairs in fact I wear pearls all the time I never wear real pearls um I don't know why maybe one day I'll buy myself a pair of real pearls but for now for one pound for all of those bad boys I'm happy with that picked up a couple of scarves this one four pounds is so pretty it's navy and it has little gold foil stars on like the night sky and i thought that'd be really lovely it's not very thick it's just one of those like more decorative pieces i actually vlogged this if you go back and watch last week's weekly vlog you can see me in primark having my like meltdown spree um and then also oh gosh i picked up this one i saw this oh no i've snagged it slightly i have to pull that back through um i saw this scarf in dolly bobo's or Kate Moraine, I'm not sure, Dolly Bobo to me, um, video. Um, and it's this lovely, 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 super chunky knit with a fluffy pom-pom. And that was only six pounds. I did go into the homeware section, so some of this is mixed in with like scarves and such. Um, I bought this for my new lounge. It's an LED dome light and it cost me six pounds. I don't know how well it will work. I'm noticing that there's just a wire Oh, we've got fluff stuck to my nail. Um, just a wire hanging out, but I think that's like the try me wire. So we'll see how well it works. But I just thought that'd be really lovely. I'm having my lounge while I'm doing it up at the moment. So I bought that hoping that it looks good. The glass dome, thought that was quite fun. Back into the beauty department. I got crocodile clips, so many crocodile clips. They're this sort, I wear them a lot and I lose them a lot. These are like Kirby grips or bobby pins. I think that they fall out your hair and the carpet eats them, so I feel like I'm forever buying these, always. Socks, because it's autumn and I'm wearing a lot of ankle boots and I need socks for my feet. Again, for the new lounge, I picked up this hanging glass heart light. Um, it's battery operated, it was four pounds, and I love that, look, how cool is that? I'm tempted to go back and get a couple more and like hang them from the corner of the room and make a feature, but I thought that was really cool. I'm interested to see how it hangs. Or doodles a one pound bubble gun because what kid doesn't like bubbles also for doodles to go with the little ring set i got this like eyeshadow set for two pounds when i was little this kind of thing was like my favorite thing ever my gran bought me this heart shaped palette and you opened it and it had like pick off nail varnish lurid eyeshadows like this lip glosses blushes and I remember thinking that was the best Christmas ever, so I thought, oh, I can't not get that for her. And I also picked up a little candle. This is called Pink Lemonade. And I'm a bit of a candle snob. 
I really like the ones from Home Sense, um, and I really like the ones from Target in America. And I was like, mm, it's gonna be Primark, it's not gonna be that great. Wrong, I've just put lipstick on it. It smells delicious. Pink Lemonade, yes please, so I'm gonna keep that one in my room. And I also bought a bigger one, which we'll find later for downstairs. Little Copper Fairy Lights, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put these, um, but this house needs more fairy lights in its life, so I picked these up. One bag down, three to go. I've got some bits down beside me that I'm saving to do at the end, Disney bits. But until then, I picked up a load of these like waterfall style cardigans. Um, they are basically just long cardigans that go over your bum so you could wear them with leggings and they don't have buttons or zips or anything, they've got a little pocket. Um, they are eight pounds um, and I got one in this like teal color. Um, I got one in a mustardy color which I've already worn. I think um, and then also this navy colour because you just can't go wrong with those sorts of cardigans especially when you're pregnant and you're living in like leggings and tank tops and you throw that on and you look like you've made an outfit talking of leggings I bought a pair of leggings this is a bit of a random buy I think I'm gonna put this on my landing so I've got a little book nook um, and this was three pounds if Emma is watching from Brummy Mummy she's gonna see this and shit herself because she freaking loves little things like this. She might already have it actually. Um, yeah, so I thought this was really cute. You could put a little flower in it if you wanted to. On to the third bag. That is ripped. Um, so I bought this. Everyone's got one of these at the moment, haven't they? An A5 cinema light box, um, battery operated. I thought that would look really nice either in the kitchen to put little messages to Liam or I might save it for his Christmas present or save it for Darcy, I'm not sure, but I thought, yeah, I'm buying into the hype, I'm getting one of these, it was eight pounds. I, I do like it. I give in, okay? I bought into it. Ooh, this is the um, the larger pink lemonade. I don't love the um, vase for it. I tend to, with candles, go for like more neutral colours, but I thought I could put this, like, I'll find a home for it, because it, oh my God, it does smell like pink sweets. It smells like, Pink sherbet sweets, I love it. I hope it burns that nicely as well. But if you see this, give it a little smell. For the new lounge, little succulents. Um, they're obviously all fake, um, but I thought together they would make quite a nice little, you know, arrangement. For two pounds, I couldn't not get this little selection of earrings. I'm really lucky I don't get like black marks on my ears if I wear cheapy earrings. Um, I know some people have like queen's ears and they can only wear gold or silver but I can just whack these in and my ears will be fine. Frozen plasters, if you have a small child in your life you will know that frozen plasters are like the greatest thing you can have in your kitchen drawers. A giant bow, essentially it's a Jojo bow for adults um, and I intend to bring bows back, I used to wear bows a lot and then I was like oh I can't wear bows because I'm over 30 and I just look so shit. And then I was like, um, fuck that. Yeah, I can wear whatever I bloody like. So I'm gonna bring, she's bringing bows back. What? Not Jojo bows, but definitely Primark bows. Yeah, that was, I just made that up. I just have a career change. This one is a Northampton bag. I'm gonna have to pick a few things out because like I said, I'm doing all the Disney things at the end. So just pick those things out right. I popped in because I wanted to see if they had the Mrs. Potts China teapot for my friend Emma who is obsessed with getting it. Um, and then I saw these Christmas baubles, oh my god. Um, these are the Hogwarts Christmas baubles, the glittering. Um, they are five pounds each, they are massive. Um, are they glass or plastic? They're plastic, which I'm grateful for because I have small children in my house all the time and kittens, so. Yeah, I got that one um, with the Hogwarts crest on it. Tell me below what house you're in. I like to think that I'm a Gryffindor, but not really that courageous. So maybe a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw, I'm not sure. Definitely not Slytherin. Um, I bought another one of these for someone else who I thought would probably quite like it. So that's a little gifty saved for Christmas. They also had, oh, I'll save that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, they also had this one, and there was only one of these, and I think I got the last one. And this is the one I like the best, platform nine and three quarters. I like the colour scheme of it. I just think that's really fun, and I love how generous they've been with all the glitter. 
in there. And then I picked myself up this um, tumbler that says sorry, not sorry with glitter in. It was the most me tumbler I've ever seen in my life. And I work up here a lot. Um, and I was like, this will be handy. You can just have massive drinks up here all the time. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Right, I'll get onto the Disney stuff. Primark have a lot of Disney stuff in at the moment. I don't really collect Disney merch, although I'm like a mega fan. I love going to the theme parks and I love all the films. Um, I don't really collect um, anything except my friend Emma bought me the chip mug and now I want the Mrs. Potts Pot. But I bought a few bits. Um, some of it's for her, for like a little goodie bag. So if you're watching, Emma, stop watching right now. Um, so I will just get going. I bought these little Chip and Mrs. Potts socks. They say shoe liners on them. Um, is that not just a sock? This Christmas bauble with Mrs. Potts and like the rose gold coppery glitter. And it says B, ah, guess. Oh, and there's Chip is in there as well, just there. We also had an Olaf one, Olaf, Olaf, but not, I'm not a big fan of Frozen, what, I know, uh, although we have it on all the bloody time. Um, these Minnie Mouse Invisible socks, or oh, a little bit tempted to keep these for me, but she'll really like those. And there's Minnie and Mickey, and she is going to Disney um, very soon, I believe. I bought her some Mrs. Potts pyjama bottoms. I didn't get the top because a, I didn't see it, and B, I was like, oh, she can mix and match that with anything she likes. Um, so it turns out she already has these, because I subtly asked her. So I will save these for gifts for someone else for Christmas. And they are little containers, purses. I'm not really sure what, what exactly you would classify this as. Does it say on the back? It just says one size. So we have Chip and we have Mrs. Potts. Um, dot, I bought two in case she was like, gonna like go crazy and then be like oh my goodness thank you so much so I get her to um but since she has them Darcy has already taken one set and Darcy really likes them so not sure what to do with these I also got her this but then when I asked she already had it I probably should have asked beforehand but I was just like a bit rabid while I was in there like just grabbing things um and this is of course the closet the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast and that's a purse from the back it looks a little bit like a coffin doesn't it but it's not. This I'm going to give to Darcy in her Christmas stocking and it's just a little chip purse and it's so slimmy slim slim, it's three pounds and this would be really great for her to keep all her coins in and it has a little sparkly bit on as well so that's going in Doodle's Christmas stocking. A little key ring which I'm a little bit tempted to keep. I'm not sure who I bought this for uh, but it was two pounds and I was like yeah I like you, I'm going to get you. Um, and then, finally, for Emma, um, she is mad for mugs. She's mug mad, mad for mugs. And it was six pounds, I'm gonna take it out of the box, she won't mind. Um, and it is this massive Winnie the Pooh honey pot. She'll really like this because it's just big. Like on all her Instagram pictures, it's just her like smiling. <laughs> she doesn't smile like this. <laughs> um, she smiles nicely with a giant mug. I'm realising that I'm sounding like I'm obsessed with Emma and I've got like a weird Emma obsession. I don't, I promise you I don't. Um, it's just that like when you see something that you know your friend will like, you pick it up and I was like, I'll make a little goodie bag. So um, <laughs> let me know what the best thing you have found at Primark is recently. And also let me know what you think of fashion at the moment, not necessarily Primark fashion because I don't want to like slate one particular retailer or anything. I just you know, do you like this 90s fashion? What would you like to come back? I would really like the 1950s and 40s to come back. I'm really sick of like the 90s. It's been in for so long now. Let's move on. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, okay, leaving it there. Lots of love. This has been a long one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon below and that will notify you when I put up a new video generally every Wednesday and Friday on this channel. Thanks very much. Big loves. Bye.